cordial welcome to all of you. I'm delighted to, to be with you, and I'm most grateful that you spend time with me, because time is the most valuable asset in our life. You can't pay it back. So I think I may have some good news for you, talking about the substance which can change your life, and this is NADH. I don't know how I can get to my presentation, but Daniel, can you help me out? Or? So thank you, Daniel. You're great. Uh, so what is NADH? I mentioned that already to you. That's the biological form of hydrogen, and it reacts with oxygen. And this is the example I gave you. And so NADH is the cell fuel. And this is the message you should take home. It's a cell fuel for every living cell. Without NADH, there is no life. Now, this is the term you should recall for the end of my lecture. This is another important message. NADH occurs in every living cell because every living cell needs to stay, uh, you need NADH to stay alive. And we have a lot of NADH in our body. You know, the highest concentration is in the heart because, as you may know, the heart pumps 86,000 times a day. 86,000 times our heart is making this, so it needs a lot of energy. But the second highest NADH content you find in the brain. You know why? Because the brain needs one-third of all our energy we produce, except some politicians use much less, <laughs> but particularly in Austria. So NADH is produced in our body. I don't want to go into details, but what you can see, we take up nutrients and we do produce NADH. And then NADH uses oxygen with the help of coenzyme Q10 to make ATP and water, and that's all we need to to live. And here you can see that CoQ10 is not as important as NADH. CoQ10 needs NADH to be reduced and to become an antioxidant. All the CoQ10 products on the market claim it's an antioxidant. It is not unless you have sufficient amount of NADH. So if you take too much CoQ10, you're running out or you're depleting your NADH pools. Now, I will shortly talk about the biological function, and I will give you some scientific evidence about the therapeutic effect. As I mentioned already, it's a fuel for cellular energy production. It repairs damaged cells in the DNA, which is very important for cancer. It's one of the most potent antioxidants. For expert, it's the most potent. And it stimulates adrenaline and dopamine. And the most recent finding, it stimulates nitric oxide production. And I will come to that point later on. Now, as I mentioned to you already, NADH reacts with oxygen and makes ATP. For the lay people, it's adenosine triphosphate. This is just a short note from a paper of 95 from Mills and his group. The loss of NADH is thought to lead to ATP depletion which in turn leads to cell death. And you can turn this sentence up and down and say, the more NADH you have, the longer the cell lives and the longer you live. And you will even uh, think, yeah, show me the evidence. The central question is, can we increase the energy production in the cell? And the answer is yes. And you will clearly say, show me the evidence. Here is the evidence. Isolated heart cells, if they are incubated with NADH, the biochemist textbook, all the famous biochemists say NADH does not enter the cell. The dogma is NADH does not enter the cell. But the probability of a dogma to be correct is very high. So what we did, we incubated these cells with NADH and measured ATP concentration inside the cell. And this is the result you have 30% more ATP inside the cell. You know what that means? We have published it. All I'm saying is substantiated by solid scientific studies, not by fairy tales as for energy drinks and so on. 
Now, what we did also, we measured the vitality of heart cells. And the blue line says, after six hours, these isolated heart cells are all dead. In the presence of NADH, 50% are still alive. Now, based on this finding, we applied for a patent saying the method of prolonging the lifespan of living cells using NADH, NADPH, and AB ribosis. So that has been published, and we do expect issuing the patent in the next few months. I want to point out with this heart cell system, we can test all substances claimed to increase energy. Not a single one, including CoQ10, carnitine, and creatine, does not increase energy. Only these three substances do. Now this is a simplified scheme. What happens if you get NADH into the cell, you get more ATP, and all of a sudden the cell can produce components which are essential for cell regulation on the cell surface. And this is very important for cancer because cancer cells have an ATP deficiency and they are missing these receptors, these cell surface structures which regulates the cell cycles and which regulates the relation to the adjacent cells. Now, a, a cell and DNA repair. We know that the DNA needs an enzyme to be repaired. And the cofactor of this enzyme is NADH. And we did some, this is just a, a, a paper showing that mitochondrial DNA mutations promote aging, promote apoptosis. And NADH prevents apoptosis. And hence, NADH counteracts with, thank you, with the two key processes of aging. DNA degeneration and energy deficiency. We have published that. It was a friend of mine from China who worked for two years in my laboratory. And if you get the cell DNA damage with doxorubicin, which is a quite frequently used chemotherapeutic agent, he can repair the DNA damage in normal cells by using NADH and is using NADH in his oncology clinic this is another interesting paper of Dr. Sang. If you radiate liver cells and you damage 95%, and if you incubate these damaged cells with NADH, you can revitalize 70% of them. And this is very important, and he told me that this is very important for nuclear uh, events. You can protect the cells with NADH, via mitochondrial mechanism. Now this is a uh, result from a study made in Georgetown University. It reduces lipid peroxidation, it reduces cholesterol, or normalizes cholesterol, and it lowers blood pressure. This was done by Dr. Price from Georgetown University. Stimulates adrenaline and dopamine, and you probably know for what we do need this. We need it for our mood, we do need it for our power, for cognition, for attention, energy, coordination, and last but not least, for our sex drive. If you don't have dopamine and adrenaline and you are boxing, you won't make it. So we need a lot of this, and cognition is the same. We have published that, you know, we can increase the stimulation of adrenaline and dopamine sixfold with NADH. So for lay people, that's the story. NADH makes you happy because it increases the concentration of our pleasure hormone of dopamine. And these are the most recent findings made by Professor Malinsky from Ohio University. He is the only guy who can measure nitric oxide because nitric oxide has a half-life of a ten thousandth of a second. And he called me a year ago at Christmas Eve, which is quite a holy evening for us. And he said, I have most interesting results. He said, sorry, I'm celebrating Christmas. He said, no, I have to tell you, NADH stimulates nitric oxide production 10 times more than any other substance I have tested. Now, what is the consequence? Well, just let me show you the mechanism. NNO, and the production of NO goes via NO synthase with the provider, you know, L-arginine. L-arginine is the source of nitric oxide. And this enzyme needs NADH. 